Hello everybody and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. This is another episode of First Appearance of the Week. This is Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. We'll be giving you all the first appearance in your comic shops today. Now this week we have a pretty big video for you guys. I think we have 7 first appearances, 13 honorable mentions, so 20 titles on all to go through. Definitely some books in there for you guys to pick up for your collection. So let's go ahead and get started for the first appearances of the week, week ending November 11th, 2022. First up from DC Comics, Batman Incorporated number 2. This features the first cameo appearance of Phantom 1, a failed sidekick of Ghost Maker. This also features a possible first cameo appearance of Fissure, an electricity wielder. Now like we always say with these DC titles, it really depends on what DC has planned for these characters they're introducing, especially when they're bringing them into the secondary or B title series. Batman Incorporated is not one of the tentpole or mainstay title series for DC Comics, such as Action Comics or Detective Comics. So when they introduce these characters into these subset title series or these new title series, it really depends on what they have planned for them. If they bring them across a lot of other title series, introduce them into the DCU proper, you know, then they may be more important going forward. Otherwise, if they just stay within this particular title series, and go nowhere it's not gonna be all that important in the future so this one here is gonna be a little bit more speculative if you choose to pick it up but it may be worth doing so for the cover price there are a few first appearances in here so this one here pick it up if you can if you can't put it in your b-list but keep an eye on it next up from dc comics batman urban legends number 21 this features the first team appearance of arkham academy this is scorn little kitten death trap the noise and wannabe wilson these characters were described as completely expendable, so it's likely they will only appear in this three-issue arc. So this one here, we really don't know how important this will be going forward. It really all depends on how popular these characters are they're introducing. You know, sometimes when they introduce characters in these comic series, they only appear for a few issues. They become so popular that they're actually brought back later on. You know, so it really depends on how popular these characters are. If nobody really cares, this book is going nowhere. It's not worth picking up. But if these characters are popular and people like them, you know, DC will definitely do something with them. It may bring them into the DCU, make an anime series, make a small screen, big screen project involving these characters. So it really depends on what DC has planned. But like I said, if they are expendable and they're expected only to appear in this three issue arc, we think you probably put this one here on your B list for now. Keep an eye on it, but we think you have some time on this one. Next up from DC Comics, Death of Superman 30th Anniversary Special Number 1. This features the first appearance of Doombreaker. Now this is an 80 page one shot celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Death of Superman issue. Now the Death of Superman, the original comic, that was a big deal back in the day when it first came out. Over the years of course, that has definitely depreciated in value due to the fact that superheroes never really die. They seem to always survive somehow or come back from the dead. So the Death of Superman, while at the time of release of the original comic, it was a big deal over the years. Nobody really cared too much. The book does still trade at a premium. The original comic does, but it not like some of the other keys from that era. Since this issue does feature the first appearance of Doombreaker, and this is the Death of Superman 30th Anniversary Special, this one here may be worth picking up just because of those two factors, the first appearance and the fact that it is an anniversary special. So if you can, pick it up at the cover price. If you can't, though, put it in your B-list and take a look at it later on. Next up from DC Comics, Superman Son of Kal El number 17. This features a possible first cameo appearance of Red Sin. Now, like we always say, when a comic book features a possible first cameo appearance, definitely do a little bit more research to make sure this is the actual first cameo appearance, because if it's not, this issue here will probably have little to no value in the future. If it is the first cameo appearance, you know, it really depends on what DC does with this character Red Sin. You know, the Superman Son of Kal-El title series has had a lot of controversy, so therefore it has had a lot of eyes on this series. You know, but for profit potential in the future, it's really hard to say. A lot of these title series have become really trendy and really popular due to the controversy in present day. They don't really age all that well. So use your best judgment on this one here. We do think you probably have some time on this one here. Put this one on your B list. Next up from DC Comics, New Golden Age number one. This features a first team appearance of the 13. Now this is the premiere issue of this new title series, New Golden Age, and this is the first team appearance of the 13. So this one here may be worth picking up for the cover price. This is definitely going to be a speculative bet. You really don't know what DC has planned for this title series or this particular team. So this one here is definitely speculative. Keep that in mind if you choose to pick it up. Otherwise, put it in your B list and take a look at it later on. Next up from Marvel Comics, Amazing Spider-Man number 13. This features the first appearance of the Gold Goblin. Now this one here we do think is definitely worth picking up for your collection. You know, any of these first appearance of these goblin characters, you know, there's been a gold goblin, a red goblin, a green goblin. All these goblin characters are definitely sought after later on. And you know, the Amazing Spider-Man title series, probably the most heavily collected of all the Marvel comic titles. So this one here, we definitely think you should pick up for your collection. Go ahead and grab this one. And finally from Marvel Comics, Star Wars The High Republic number 2. This features the first team appearance of The Path of the Open Hand, an extremist missionary order. It also features the first team appearance of the Twinkle Sisters. 
Now, like we always say with these Marvel published Star Wars titles, it's always worth picking these up for your collection. You know, Marvel Disney is still churning out a ton of Star Wars media, whether it's small screen or big screen. And, you know, these streaming series they're putting out on the Disney Plus channel, very popular. You know, a lot of fan favorite characters come out of this series. And you really don't know if any of these characters they're introducing in these comics are going to appear on the small screen. So it's definitely worth picking these up to spec on for the cover price. For a few bucks, it could be sitting on a winner. So go ahead and grab this one here for your collection. And now for the honorable mentions. From Image Comics, Gospel Number 1. This is a five-issue fantasy adventure inspired by the work of Hayu Mizuyaki and set in the chaos of the reign of King Henry VIII that questions the truth behind the stories that we tell. Now, we always mention this with Image Comics. They have had a lot of their titles picked up in the past and option for small screen and big screen projects. That's a huge price driver for these independent titles. This one here does sound like it can lend itself very well to a small screen or big screen project. So this is definitely going to be speculative if you choose to pick it up. But Image Comics has had a lot of their titles picked up in the past. So this one here may be worth picking up the spec on for the cover price. So grab this one here to spec on if you can. If you can't, though, put it on your B-list and take a look at it later on. Next up from Scout Comics, Kill Cella number one. A group of friends attend the music festival Coachella, only to find a reclusive pop star leads her devoted fans in a massive human sacrifice ritual. Now this sounds like it can lend itself very well to a small screen or big screen project, and Scout Comics has had a lot of their titles picked up in option in the past. And the fact that this involves Coachella, you know, everybody knows about Coachella, huge music festival out here in California, heavily attended, draws headlines every year, so it definitely gives it a little bit more power to be picked up in option. This one here is a great spec bet in our opinion. Grab it if you can. If you can't, put it in your B-list, but keep an eye on this one. Next up from Image Comics, The Knight and the Lady of Play. A knight is traveling home to his wife after a war with demons, but is tempted by a mysterious woman who tempts him to stay with her. Now this one here, once again, sounds like it lends itself very well to a small screen and big screen project. Image Comics has had a lot of titles picked up in option in the past. This one here is definitely going to be a spec bet if you choose to pick it up. You know, you're really just specking on the fact that this will be picked up in option and give it a little bit more power, a little bit more eyes on this particular title. So this one here, in our opinion, is a pretty good spec bet to pick up if you can. If you can't, then put it on your B-list and keep an eye on it. Next up from Boom Comics, specs number one. Two misfit teens order a pair of x-ray glasses that Grant wishes. Now, once again, sounds like it lends itself very well to a small screen or big screen project. And Boom Comics has had a lot of their titles picked up in the past. They have a lot of attention on their titles lately. So this one here, once again, another spec bet if you choose to pick it up. But it sounds like it lends itself very well to a streaming series or small screen project. So in our opinion, great spec bet. Pick it up if you can. If you can't, though, put it on your B-list and keep an eye on it. Next up from Ablaze Comics, Traveling to Mars number one. A terminally ill man is the first to be sent to Mars knowing there is no chance he will return. This story here is very topical. There's been a lot of talk about traveling to Mars or trying to colonize Mars. And Elon Musk is a huge proponent of trying to send people to Mars and colonize the planet. So this one here being so topical and how relevant the story is, we do think this here has a lot of potential to be picked up an option. This is a great spec bet in our opinion. Pick it up if you can. If you can't though, put it on your B-list, but definitely keep an eye on this one. Next up from Image Comics, Two Graves Number 1. This is the retelling of the classic Persephone myth. Now, like we always say, Image Comics has had a lot of their titles picked up in option in the past, and this is the retelling of a classic Greek myth that everyone knows. A lot of those Greek myth retellings are definitely prime targets to be picked up in option for a small screen or big screen project. So once again, this is going to be a spec bet if you choose to pick it up. Grab it if you can. If you can't, put it in your B-list, but keep an eye on it. Next up from DC Comics, Detective Comics number 38 facsimile. Now this is a facsimile reprint of Detective Comics 38, the first appearance of Robin. Now we always say this with these facsimile reprints, these are great books to have in your collection. There's a huge market for these. A lot of collectors run back and get these. These definitely trade at a huge premium on the secondary market once they sell out. You know, and DC has not been producing a lot of these facsimiles. We've actually gone back and tried to order some from earlier this year and they're already sold out. So these facsimiles, these are definitely books you want to grab. You know, these don't actually reprint just the story alone, but all the ads as well. This is how the comic first appeared when it actually first hit the shelf. So these are books you definitely want to pick up and add to your collection. Go ahead and grab this one. Next up from DC Comics, Superman number 75 reprint. Now this reprints Superman number 75, The Death of Superman. And this also includes creator interviews. Now this one here, we do think you should probably pick up just because it is the reprint of The Death of Superman, issue number 75. Like we mentioned earlier, that book was a huge deal when it first came out. Over the years, of course, it has drifted down in value once people realize superheroes can't actually die. They always seem to come back from the dead. But the fact that this was such a huge deal when it first came out, and this is the reprint of that issue for just a couple bucks, this one here is probably worth picking up for your collection. Go ahead and grab this one. Next up from Marvel Comics, Avengers number 62. This features the origin of Marvel's history featuring Agamotto. 
Now, the Avengers standalone title series, huge fan base, huge collector base for that title series, and this features the origin of Marvel's history. So this one here is one we do think you should probably pick up just to have this origin story, but origin stories aren't often as popular or as heavily collected as first appearance of new characters, new costumes, new superpowers. So in our opinion, this one here is worth picking up, and if you can't grab them all, put it on your B-list, but definitely keep an eye on it. Next up from Marvel Comics, Black Panther Unconquered number 1. This features the origin of Wakanda. Now, like we just mentioned with the Avengers 62, it's probably a good idea to pick up these origin stories. This is the origin of Wakanda. You know, this is a subset series. This is Black Panther Unconquered number one. This is not the Black Panther standalone series. But this series does feature the origin of Wakanda. I don't think that is in the actual Black Panther title series. This one here may be worth picking up for the cover price. Like I said, might be a good idea to own the origin of Wakanda. Grab it if you can. If you can't, though, put it on your B-list and keep an eye on it. Next up from Marvel Comics, Fantastic Four number one. Now, this is a new creative team telling character-focused, less universe-spanning stories of the Fantastic Four. Now, this is one you probably want to pick up and add to your collection. You know, Marvel is planning a huge Fantastic Four rollout. Feature films, streaming series, you name it, Marvel has a huge plan for this Fantastic Four universe. And this is the premiere issue of Fantastic Four. And the fact that they're starting to retell the story, more character-based and less universe-spanning, that leads me to believe these are going to be the stories they pick for the feature film. This is one you do want to pick up. Go ahead and grab this one. Next up from Marvel Comics, New Mutants number 98 facsimile. Now this is a facsimile reprint of New Mutants number 98, the first appearance of Deadpool. Like we always say with these facsimiles, definitely pick these up and add to your collection. You know, for the cover price, you can't really go wrong with these. There's a huge secondary market for these, huge collector base, huge fan base. And this is the facsimile reprint, so it has all the original ads, everything that was included when the book actually hit the shelf. So in our opinion, this is one you definitely want to own. Go ahead and grab this one. And finally, for Marvel Comics, Spider-Man The Lost Hunt number one. This features the origin of Kraven. You know, like we always say, Spider-Man, one of the most heavily collected, one of the most popular of the Marvel characters. And the fact that this features the origin of Kraven, once again, hugely popular villain for Spider-Man. This one here is probably one you do want to pick up for the cover price. They are bringing this origin story into Spider-Man The Lost Hunt. This is definitely a subset or a B-series of Spider-Man. This is not one of the Tenpole series, you know, Amazing Spider-Man or Spider-Man standalone. So it really depends on what they do with this particular origin story. If this is the one that makes its way to a small screen or big screen project, this is one you definitely want to own. So in our opinion, it's probably worth picking this up for the cover price. Go ahead and grab this one. So there you have the 20 titles we have for you guys this week. I know there's a lot in there, but there's definitely books you guys want to pick up for your collection. Please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.